Hi everyone, thanks for joining me in today's webinar, going through the highlights of next week's e-commerce release. We've talked a little bit about e-commerce 5.0 and how much we're investing in the core of the e-commerce platform in phase one. This work is vital for making sure that e uh, CloudPause e-commerce is ready for the next 10 years of retail development uh, using the latest technology so you've got the best platform for your business. This release includes some pieces on the core of the platform that improve performance and lay out the groundwork for future development. So there's not as many visible changes as you'd normally see in a release. If you want to see what's coming on the roadmap, you can check out um, the development roadmap on howto.citruslime.com. So as part of this, we've separated out custom content from the core of the e-commerce platform. So that means anything on your website that's specific to your business, so your logo, your fonts, all of your content, uh, that's all separated out from the core of the platform. So that move makes it easier to update the core of the platform while ensuring that custom content won't be affected. There is an element of risk in this release as the content is moved. We've been very thorough in the process and testing, and we don't anticipate any disruption. We've improved how we deploy code during a release. That means that rollouts will be faster, which will maximize uptime during releases. So you're getting really good service continuity with minimal disruption. It's worth noting here that in the, it's in the nature of software development that bugs are created when new code is developed and released. Everyone from massive tech companies like Microsoft and Apple to little independents like Citrus Lime experience this. It's standard in the industry. Where Citrus Lime Excel compared to other companies is in our response times. So the industry standard is two weeks, and that's even for serious functional issues. Citrus Lime resolves bugs as quickly as we can, meaning they're diagnosed, a fix is created, tested, and released in just a few hours. Obviously, in an ideal world, uh, there wouldn't be any bugs at all. And that is, of course, the level of perfection that we aim for. But fixing bugs within 24 hours is an exceptionally high level of service compared to the standard. You can see the status of CloudPause and get the latest updates on the status page. That's status.citruslime.com. You can also now subscribe to that status page uh, to get updates emailed to you. So this is separate from the emails about releases and new features that you already get from us. Uh, it's specifically for product status updates. So I'd recommend that you head over there to status.citruslime.com um, and there's a little blue button at the top to subscribe for email updates. It's the easiest way to get alerts and know what's going on. Again, as part of e-commerce 5.0, we've removed a load of redundant code and background tasks that have already been replaced with a better, more modern way of doing things. As part of that, the uh, quick view stock status report is no longer available in CloudMT. Instead, the useful fields have been added to the advanced item search. So if you choose the column chooser button in the top right, you can now add in columns for local stock updated and SIM and warehouse stock updated. So all the useful information is still available in advanced item search. Following some feedback from customers on Canny, our feedback forum, we've made some user experience uh, improvements to Starbuys, uh, particularly to make it better to use on mobile. Starbuys is a powerful promo promotional tool that encourages customers to add extra items when they're buying online. It's really useful for driving up the value of each transaction and increasing online sales overall. There's a whole webinar on YouTube if you want to find out more about Starbuys. And of course, there's lots, as always, on howto.citruslime.com. For customers who have multiple front-end websites uh, running from one database, there are now site-specific options. So you can set the primary email address uh, that's used to send out emails like order confirmation emails. Uh, so you can have that different for each site. You can have a different contact email and set a different site name as well. Finally, you no longer need to manually clear the cache in Cache Manager to get updates to pull through to the site quickly. So the cache is now automatically clear much more frequently every five minutes. So that means when you're making changes to the site, you won't have to wait more than a couple of minutes to see them pull through and you don't have to go through to Cache Manager and manually click those buttons to, to clear the cache quickly. Uh, it'll just all be done automatically for you. 
And that's all for today. The full release notes are on howto.citruslime.com and I'll be sending them out shortly. Uh, and a recording of this webinar will be up on YouTube later today in case anyone's missed it and wants to get up to speed. Thanks for joining and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe to the Citruslime YouTube channel for the latest new features and product updates from Citruslime.